Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens. Welcome back to Ones Upon a Game. And in this episode, we're going to be unboxing Wingspan, designed by Elizabeth Hargrave. It's produced by Stonemeyer Games. And uh, the Automa Factory <laughs> creates the AI for this, which is always awesome in most of Stonemeyer Games. Uh, this has been hard to get. Uh, there's been a little bit of, a little bit of uh, discussion, let's say, about the uh, distribution of this one. But it seems to finally be coming in in uh to the mainstream uh after an initial uh, dearth of availability but uh, people are starting to find it i managed to get a copy when uh st online store had it and now i'm finally gonna get to open it so this one came already pre-torn so i have to get out my knife for this one because i don't want to harm the bird the artwork let's go ahead and name them here if we can natalie rojas Anna Marie, Anna Maria Martinez Jaramillo, and Beth Sobel. And if they did all this art, this is gorgeous. This is just, I like birds. And everything I've seen about this is just, is just gorgeous. So it's for one to five players. They just ten and up. Man, that's just beautiful. So, anyway, let's take a look inside. I think it's cool. I know there's a dice tower in here, I believe. I think there's also some storage. All right. Wingspan. Wow. Hmm. It's got a minty smell to it. It's kind of weird. Hmm. Must just be the ink. Anyway, so we've got a rule book. Full color. It's kind of a, it's kind of a canvassy paper. Let's see. At least the cover is. Yeah, the cover of the rule book is kind of got a canvas texture to it. And then the inside does not appear to carry that. It's just regular. No, it does. It does have it. So that's kind of interesting. You know, you have a brush linen on cards sometimes. Well, this is like a very textury paper. It's very nice. Kind of like a watercolor paper. Maybe that fits with a the watercolor theme. So quick uh, rule book, 12 pages, right? Explains the rules, got full color. Uh, Stonemeyer's rule books are always pretty good. They know how to produce a pretty decent game, as we've seen with most of their others. And then we've got an appendix, which tells about, let's see, end of round, bonus cards, bird powers, so on and so forth. Excuse me, it's another 12 pages. So this may be the one you reference more often. Kind of a cross-reference, bird powers. And then we've got the Automa rules. I'm just going to tell you how to play the AI player. It is a shorter four page manual. Again, on the same nice, nice stock. Very cool. So it tells you how to do the Automa. And the Automa, I mean, have always been very easy to manage, uh, even for Gaia Project. Uh, if I've got that right, yeah, I got a project. I mean, they're just a piece of cake, scythe, um, viticulture, all those. Not a problem. So, let's keep going. Got a plastic, this is a bins box. It's got a tray that looks like it's part of the game. It stays tight. Oh, it's your card, so it's card storage or draw decks, maybe. And then I think this is slots to hold the current cards that are available. But boy, a lot of, a lot of worth waiting for here. It's a very sturdy, firm plastic formed box there. All right. Then we've got player cards. Uh, it's got, well, no, it's got rounds. Who came first, second, third, fourth? It's two-sided. We have a blue and a green. Oh, let's see, wait a minute. Here we got zero through four. Here we got zero through five. It plays one to five players. So this may be scoring for the different uh, player counts. Give different victory points. All right, we've got a couple more bins for holding three, four of these. Looks like we're holding resources. Now these were inside as well and were expansions. So they're 
sit on the table and you can draw from them. But then you can put the lid back on and store everything in the box. So it's a lot of upgrade bonuses here to the production. So now we got some wooden devices, wooden cu uh, cubes and dice. Got five dice. Various. They're larger than normal. So like here's a normal, normal die. So these are a little bit bigger. So this is probably 12 millimeters. This is probably a 16 millimeter die. They're rounded and they're wooden. Kind of light. But they roll. And got some rats and some worms. All things that birdies like to eat, I guess. At least of their predators. And then we got eight cubes in five player colors. Some desiccant. And we got some eggs. Looks to be in this, possibly in the same player colors. Maybe these are. And then we got white. We got turquoise. There's a green, a brown, and a pink. These are very cute. Oh man, the cover, the production of this is just really nice. Hope the game's good. I heard a lot of good things about it from the few people who got it on the first printing. All right, Let's see where else we're going here. We got cards. We'll get to the cards in a minute. Okay, we got a score pad. Okay, got some extra baggies for stuff that doesn't fit in all the bins. And from the desk I already dealt with. And then we've got boards that are made to look like leather. So these are boards for I'm gonna assume that they're for each player, since there's five of them, that each player would have their own player board. So, given the size of these, that may take up a little bit of space on your table, since there's five of these, if you're playing with five people, but you've probably got a big table for that anyway, so it probably wouldn't be that big a deal. So, let's put those away. Gain food. You can lay eggs, draw bird cards, so on and so forth. Very nice. You can get some water stains. Faux water stains on them. You get five of those boards. And then you get a birdhouse. There's a lot of stuff packed in this in this box. When it shipped to me, it said it was six pounds. I couldn't believe it, but now I can. Okay. So you have a card punch board uh, birdhouse that makes this little dice tower for rolling the dice. So you got a tray, so it's on two pieces of cardstock. You got the tower and the tray, and with instructions on how to assemble it. And then one sheet of tokens. Very decent, relatively thick. Bunch one of Templeton here. So you got rats and berries and worms and fish and wheat. And then you've got some score tokens and I guess a first player token with that beautiful bird again. This is very cool. So again, I hope to get this one played very soon because this one looks awesome. So let's take a look quickly at some of the cards. I'm going to put some of the stuff away here. So you're going to get three counter sheets. You're going to get one counter sheet. You're going to get two sheets of uh, to build a birdhouse tower. You're going to get four very nice thick player boards. Five bags of eggs, different bird types. Forty cubes for players. Five dice. A position tracker. An automa rule book. An appendix. And a rule book. Extra baggies. All right, we're gonna get to some cards here in a minute. Four of these bins. And lastly, one very nice card storage bin 
and a score pad. Now we got three decks of cards. Let's sort through one of these real quick. Check out some of that artwork that has already proven to be so lovely. They're kind of a, I want to say they're a bridge style because they're a little narrower than normal cards, but maybe wrong. So on each card here, all right, so on each of the cards here, we've got obviously a bird type, some different different icons, things like that, some some uh, flavor text. Emily Dickinson wrote poems about these birds on rowdy choristers in the, in her Church of Nature. All right, and then my wife's gonna love this: the brown pelican. When you play it, you gain three fish from the supply. American goldfinch. I hope this bird's in here. I hope that bird's in here so I can find out what it is. Bald eagle. Lots of various types here. Wood stork. Rosate spoonbill. I see a lot of those in Florida. Cerulean warbler. Chestnut coal coal fired longspur. King rail, red cockaded woodpecker. This is like a Audubon book. Whooping crane, spotted owl, Cassin's finch, Bell's vireo. Anyway, seeing a lot of painted bunting. That's not him, her, whatever. Usually the male is the brighter one to draw off the attackers. Anyway, um, this is looking really, really cool. So. There's two more decks of cards. I'm not going to go through them because we're going to see more birds, but here's the Mockingbird. Hopefully he doesn't get killed. Yes. And a Chickadee. So, uh, Boy, that one makes a lot more stuff. Oh, that is off my mind. Anyway, all of that that I showed you before, plus the three decks of cards, is what you're going to get inside. I can't even put it back together yet. Is what you're going to get inside of Wingspan, designed by Elizabeth Hargrave, produced by Stonemeyer Games. And go ahead and name him again. Illustrated by Natalie Rojas, Anna Maria Martinez Jaramillo, and Beth Sobel. Thank you for this beautiful game. Anyway, check out a copy. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Bye bye. Oh!